Hey everyone, Cody here, and in this video I just kind of wanted to talk about my background, um, both as an artist, but also, also uh, living in Arizona, so kind of the whole idea of Arizona abstract art, just because, um, I don't know, just to kind of give you a little bit of my background, um, but also kind of the inspiration for the work that I do. So I live in Arizona, I, I mean I've talked about it I think in some of my other videos, um, I've lived here all my life. So there have been times where I've been in other states for extended periods of time, like months, but I've never lived outside of Arizona. Um, I was born and raised here, so I grew, like I was born in Phoenix. I grew up mostly in Peoria, which is where I live now. Um, Peoria is kind of, it's not as big as Phoenix, but it's not quite like a small town. Um, but, and, it, and it's grown a lot over the years that I've been here. So. You know, I, I've always lived here. I've been, like I said, I've been to other states. Um, you know, I've been all over, and I think that there's a lot of nice states out there. there. There's some really, some really nice, beautiful states that I wouldn't, you know, if I had to choose to live there, I probably would. Um, but essentially, because I grew up here, um, you know, I've just kind of, just kind of really grown, like learned to accept that this is my home, right? When I was younger, I kind of thought about like it would be cool to like live by the beach or it'd be cool to live, you know, uh, you know, in the mountains or in the forest or or whatever. And I think that there, you know, there's a lot of great advantages and, you know, obviously to living in those places. But essentially, um, you know, and I thought that the, the desert was boring. Right. And I have terrible allergies. I don't know if it's just from living here or if it's genetic or maybe both. Uh, but I have terrible allergies, so the dust out here kind of kills me. But anyway, uh, so when I was young, I didn't really like it, right? I always, in my, when I was young, I always thought like I was going to move away. Um, but after, you know, just kind of growing up here, I, I, as I became an adult, I really started to kind of really appreciate living here. Um, as I grow, like as I got older and kind of went through high school and stuff and just kind of learned the history of Arizona, like, you know, that we had all these like, you know, mines and that we had all these different, um, like the resources, like the five C's, which I couldn't tell you now, but I know that two of them were citrus and copper and there, and cotton. And I only know cotton because Peoria actually ha used to have like, used to be all citrus trees and, and, and cotton groves just beyond where I live. Um, and now obviously it's all urbanized. So it's a little, it's a little sad, I think, because, you know, we just, we urbanize everything and, and trees are kill, you know, die off. But anyway, um, so as I got older, I started to really appreciate this state, not only because I know in other states, they have to deal with a lot of adverse weather, right? They've got blizzards or, you know, tsunamis or maybe not tsunamis, but you know, blizzards and hurricanes and, and tornadoes and earthquakes and, and wildfires. And we get, you know, some of that stuff out here, but our biggest thing is the heat, right? But the thing with the heat is that it's it's predictable every year, right? So I know, well, anybody who lives here knows it's coming every year. We already know it's hot, so if you just prepare for it, it's not that big a deal. And a lot of people have pools out here, so it's an advantage. But anyway, as I grew up, I kind of started to appreciate Arizona because I started learning about the history of it and, you know, how important we were as a state. And we've got the movie Tombstone because all that stuff happened out here is so cool, right? And and as I, I kind of started enjoying like the Western, the idea that this was, you know, a lot of a lot of parts of Arizona where were like Western towns and stuff like that. And I think that that's really cool. And, you know, I got into gunslingers for a while and I was really excited and I started absorbing this, uh, these, these ideas about gunslingers and, and the whole Western culture. And, and actually, um, you know, my, my birth name was Colt, not Cody. And, uh, so Colt, you know, based off of Colt 45, the gun. So, you know, my grandfather and my dad were into guns. My grandfather was a leather worker. So, you know, I kind of have that, like a little bit of a Western background to me, right? But uh, I just really, you know, I started enjoying it once I started like learning about the culture of Arizona. But then also, um, I, I, a few years ago, I worked as a satellite technician for a satellite TV company. And I, you know, I worked all over the, you know, the West Valley, right? So I worked all over Phoenix, um, everything from like Sun City and Sun City West and all of that and Whitman to uh, Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, Fountain Hills. If you're out here, you understand the different areas. If you don't, just know that that's probably 
a two to three hour drive from one end all the way to the other of which I've, I've just mentioned. So, you know, it's, it's pretty vast for, you know, the Phoenix metropolitan area, right? And so because of that, um, you know, when I got this job, I've, I've been all over Phoenix and there's parts where it's like remote desert, right? And there's like a mile between houses or miles between houses. And then there's like urban, like Phoenix, like city, big city type things. And so I've worked all over and I've really gotten to see a lot of different parts of Arizona. And then, like I said, I went to all these, I've been to different states, especially all the neighboring states like California, uh, New Mexico, Utah, um, Las, or Nevada, and you know, I don't know if I said Colorado, but that one too. And uh, <clears throat> give me one second. So because I've been to all these different states, you know, I've gotten to see different aspects of not only Arizona, but just like the desert culture, right? And so I've really come to appreciate it because, you know, we've got these beautiful mountains and we've got, uh, you know, we've got the swirl trees and, you know, cacti. It's so funny because you don't think of cacti as like trees and, you know, a lot of people don't think of them as beautiful. But in a sense, they're they're really kind of cool. I mean, to think that a plant specifically lives in the desert and thrives there is just it's just a very cool idea to me, right? And so I really kind of accepted this as I, you know, as I got older. So just especially in the last few years, I've kind of really accepted the idea of of living in the desert and, and finding beauty in it, um, you know, in the mountains and in our history and, you know, in the landscape. And one big thing that really that really stands out to me um, as an as an artist is sunsets, right? <clears throat> and so I'll come back to that in a second. So a few you know two years ago when I started painting, almost two years to the date. Um, actually, I have about two months, but but about two years ago when I started painting, um, I didn't really know much about colors or palettes or inspiration for painting. I just kind of did it and I started doing it, you know, if you look at my earlier videos, a lot of it was the Pollock stuff and I was just kind of learning techniques and, and materials and, and colors and different things like that. And I didn't really have a sense of, of color palette. I just kind of put like colors together and hoped it looked good. Um, but as I started becoming more, it was coming into my own and really uh, learning to take inspiration from the things around me, uh, I kept finding myself uh, finding inspiration from the Southwest and from Arizona. And um, so a couple of examples of that was like, I've, I've really developed a, um, a, res a high regard for the color turquoise. I never really cared about turquoise before this. I mean, I was, I was just like very focused on like red, black and white, and I still use a lot of it. But turquoise, after using it in different applications, I started really appreciating turquoise. And <clears throat> I was thinking about it because I went to Prescott and Sedona recently and they have a lot of like silver jewelry with, with turquoise in it. And a lot of it has to do with like Native, Native American like heritage and stuff like that, but not necessarily all of it. But anyway, turquoise is just such a beautiful uh, gem. Like I guess if, if maybe it's a rock, I don't know how you would classify it, mineral? maybe I don't regardless um, it's just such a beautiful material let's just put it that way and it you know it, it's very vibrant and and I just started finding myself using turquoise in a lot of things I just found like a respect for it and anytime I would like look at jewelry or think of Arizona I, I turquoise would come to mind um, <clears throat> and then there was other colors like orange and uh, and red like crimson for like the sky and uh, and also like dusty pink and like uh, you know, dark purple. I started using a lot more of those colors. And recently I did a piece called Arizona Sunset that was red, orange, and purple. And those colors just kind of represent Arizona to me, at least like when I look at like a sunset, that's a deep sunset. It's got those colors and it just looks amazing, right? So when I talked about the sunsets, you know, the sunsets out here are just phenomenal. And, and the coloring is amazing. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's orange, sometimes it's pink, sometimes it's purple. And it just looks awesome. And because, and if you're out like towards the desert and you watch it, you just, you have like this clear view of, of the sun just going down over the desert. And it just looks awesome, or, or, you know, especially when it reflects off the floor. Um, but also like considering some of the, you know, the minerals that we have, like copper and stuff like that, you know, I find myself using more metallics, um, especially copper because of the, um, 
this idea that you know we have those materials um, I made a piece called Southwestern Samba and that's based off of you know Arizona but the Southwest and it's got a lot of these colors in it turquoise and orange and copper because of those inspirations so if you look at a lot of my art not all of it is Arizona based or Southwest based but there are pieces that are inspired by that because I've really come to respect the state in which I live and I know that not everybody likes Arizona I mean that you can find good and bad about every state but for me just living here I've come to really respect Arizona and just enjoy living here um, and, and find inspiration for it um, and that's pretty much it so I, I, I know this video is kind of like maybe it's a little off or rambling I don't know maybe nobody will watch it but Really, I just wanted to give you kind of a snapshot of both of my background, but also the inspiration, some of the inspiration I have for making the abstract art that I do based off of Arizona. So I, I figured I'd just kind of, you know, make this video just to kind of give you that. Um, I'll put some links in the, the description of some of the pieces I mentioned, like Arizona Sunset, Southwestern Samba. Um, I've got another piece, um, and it was Chasing Sunsets. Um, it's a flat painting, kind of like the one behind me. These are all based off of colors, at least that I've seen living here. And so I, I'm, I'm just curious, if you're watching this and you've watched it all the way to the end, please leave a comment and tell me either A, what state you live in, um, or B, what do you find inspiration for? Or at least what do you find yourself kind of coming back to? I keep finding myself being inspired by you know, the Arizona and the idea of the Southwest. Um, and I keep finding myself making pieces, even if I don't intend to. But I'm just curious, what do you find inspiring that you keep coming back to? Um, but anyway, if you like this video, you know, subscribe or, you know, check out the channel or visit my site. Any of those things, share the video, any cool stuff that you can do, um, I, I greatly appreciate. And I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.